here with Robin Cass at the Big Brother Canada 3 auditions. Robin, tell me, what do you think of Canada in your third experience here? Uh, uh, you... You know I love Canada. I want to move to Canada. I want to be a Canadian. The cold, ee, I'm not so much enjoying it, but the people, and I mean, you know, I love Canada. I'm not just saying that. You know I truly love it here. Now, now let me ask you this. I was trying to decide what to ask you, and I said, let's say a really, like, good-looking girl comes up, tries out for uh, season three, okay. but her name is Netta. Is she automatically gone because we had a Netta go so far? Like, do names matter? I guess in the case of Hayden Voss, Hayden Moss, it wasn't really a big deal. How funny is that? Well, we had Andrew season one and Andrew season two. I mean, names mean absolutely nothing. I would put five Nettas on the show at once if they were all amazing and all great characters and you give them nicknames. Name doesn't mean anything. Why do you think Canada has stronger females? You know, like, I feel like we had Jillian, we had Netta, and in the last season it was, like, bro central. So yeah. is Canada just better for casting females? <laughs> I don't know. I wish I knew. I wish I had the answer to that question. I don't know. I think it does have a lot to do with, in the U.S., the, I don't know, maybe it's because it's 17 years in and the people just know so much. I, I wish I had a really smart answer for you. I don't. Maybe Canadian women just rule. <laughs> you know, I, I got to say, I thought that the Big Brother 6 cast, the Big Brother 8 cast, and the Big Brother Canada 2 cast okay. are your three best casts of all time. Okay. So when you have such a complete cast like you did last year, is there a pressure? Because I feel like no matter who you find, you're going to be hard-pressed to beat last year. I think there's pressure every year. I think in the U.S. there's a lot of pressure going on to 17. I think this year there is a ton of pressure. And I do think it's something that keeps us going and something that keeps us excited, keeps the fans excited, keeps me. But, yeah, I mean, there's a ton of pressure, and I'm terrified, and I hope we can pull it off again. Now, you know, I've auditioned. This is my third year in a row. Now, I know that the odds probably aren't... telling you something. Okay. You're on my... You know, you can't be making me look bad. This isn't like... An, okay. <laughs> but the thing is, I feel like all I want out of these auditions is the Robin experience. And every single time, I get some other member of casting. Why... All fabulous. Okay, but why don't I get the head dog? Why don't I get the person that, like, is making the calls? Like, is this, like, a conspiracy where as soon as... Oh, no, don't put that guy in the purple in my group. I don't want him in the groups. Yeah. Tell me tell me how it happens. No, it's completely random. It has no... You could have been in my group. Maybe you are. Maybe you're not. I mean, it's completely random. I have no idea who's going to come to my table. So, I apologize that you have not... Every year, she avo every year she avoids me. Okay, so, because I haven't gotten the Robin experience, okay. I'm going I'm to hand you the mic, okay. okay? And I want, like, a Robin audition interview you like really quick I feel like I'm never gonna get this opportunity again okay. it's super simple the okay. first thing okay. I would say to you okay. is shake it out are you nervous no. how are you feeling no, you I'm feeling good, good? all good. right okay. all right so tell me okay. what would make you a good house guest I'm the king of reality television I want to use my emerge nation I want to break every brown stereotype I'm there to avoid an arranged marriage meet a blonde girl and I don't know the magic will happen I also Robin want to break every brown stereotype brown guys are known for wearing their cell phones on holsters I want to prove the world wrong there are no cell phones in the Big Brother house. You do realize that, right? Yeah, that was my pitch for the... That, I know, but see, th this, is, this is what I don't like. Okay. I don't like that you had a pitch. I don't like that it sounded rehearsed. I don't like that everything that you just said was planned. I like the people who are, like, off the cuff, and you can tell. No, but that's I can, boring. No, 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 no. It's not boring. It's too rehearsed. Because now, in 20 minutes when we have a conversation, yeah. all those things you've already said... We want, so, okay. I want something new. I want something fresh. So, I want something. I don't want the stuff that is all rehearsed. So if I, if I come up and I say, hey, my name is Mertz. I like being on Big Brother. I know the show really well. You're telling me that's not boring. Well, well you said uh, it in a boring way. Okay. But I'm saying, like, when people come to me and they are using Mertz Nation and I've got yeah, this. Yeah, and it's like, yeah. oh, that, that's, it, that's season three all over it. No. You had, okay. You no. had Frankie last season. I feel like you're ready for, like, another social media Mertz go. See, I hate that. Okay, well. Okay. Uh, Robin, what's next for you? Why are you laughing? This isn't... Keep it together. It's just funny. Okay, so... What's next for me? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, after this, we'll be... I'll be starting up Big Brother 17 in the U.S. And what did you think about the Cubs Swanson Frankie Edgar match last night? I didn't see it. Tell mm -hmm. me about it. It was all Frankie. Frankie. It was all Frankie. Yes, really? yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I'm out here. I, I didn't get to see it, but we can talk MMA later. Sounds you know, good. that's my thing. Robin Cass, Mertz right. Chaffer, thank I you so much. It. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, you got to flash the Mertz sign. That's how we end the interview. Just give me a half one, okay? <laughs>